Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to see the installation of Gini Mobile SCR CPUI software on Windows 11. This will help you to mirror your Android device screen to Windows 11. And this process is going to be quick and easy. Let's discuss about this application. With the help of this application, we can mirror our Android devices by connecting USB cable to a laptop or desktop. With the help of this software, you can interact your Android device and you can see the Android mirror screen on your laptop and you can use keyboard and mouse. For this, we do not need any kind of root access. Let's discuss about some prerequisites. The first one is your Android device require at least API 21 or uh, you must have Android 5.0 version or later. And if you want the audio support, audio forwarding must be supported for the API greater than 30. Means if you have Android 11 plus, then you will get this feature. On some devices, you also need to enable the additional USB debugging option, which is inside the security settings. So we have to go there and we have to enable. If you want to use keyboard and mouse to interact, the Android device and in that case rebooting of the device is necessary so you have to perform all these steps before going to run Gini mobile installation so this is the download link let's begin open the Chrome browser copy this download link from the description and then you will see here a page this is the github location and this is the SCR CPY uh, download location in this section, get the app. We have the three versions. So click on the Windows. And when you see the Windows page, here we have to release. First one is for 64 Windows and the second one is for 32 Windows. So we are going to click on the first one. Here we go. And you can see the downloading is in progress. Size is not big, 5.7 MB only. This will take only one or two minutes. Once the downloading is done, please put this folder, this zip file at particular place on your system. So I have copied that downloaded zip file here in this folder. Now we will extract this with the help of unzip software. So I have seven zip. I will use this software to extract. And then after extraction, you will see this folder and we have uh, these kind of files here. So the installation is done. Now we need to connect our mobile to our laptop. So we will see this activity. And uh, let me tell you one important command which will be executed after connecting the Android device which is SCR CPY. Now we need to connect Android device to the laptop via USB cable. Okay guys let's do it. Okay guys look at here this is my laptop and the USB cable is connected and this is the test Android device. This is my fo old phone. Now I'm going to connect this USB cable to my phone. Once you connect you will see this kind of message. So select for the file transfer. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do, we need to enable USB debugging. For that, we have to go inside the settings in your phone. And here we, I have to go in the additional settings. This option may be different in your system. So basically we are looking for the developer options. If this is not enabled, please enable this first, then this will be visible. Once you are inside the developers option, just scroll up and you can see here in the debugging section, we have a first option USB debugging. So please tap it and enable. This will ask you to allow tap on OK. Once you tap OK, you can see your device is connected and recognized by the laptop and you will see the notification on right hand side of your laptop. Okay, now come back, come back here, 
in the download location where we have extracted the folder now just type cmd so you can see uh, there's a cmd we have just opened and we are inside this folder so we don't need to uh, type the cd command for that we are simply going to type a simple command scrcpy and press enter and soon you will see the mirror screen of your phone appear here on your laptop screen so this time you can see uh, here uh, this is my phone on left hand side on the right hand side on the laptop you can see uh, mirror screen is working properly and lag is very low and you will enjoy this thing you can see everything is working properly but what I have found here when I'm trying to use the mouse pointer to access the folder access the icon want to open any application it is not working as I have told you at the beginning of this tutorial we need to enable one more USB debugging which we will find inside the security settings so we have to enable that setting as well to achieve this thing okay now I will show you how you will enable that thing in some mobile we need to enable this setting but in the latest mobiles it is already default enabled okay if this is not working on your system mouse you are not able to interact through the mouse pointer then you need to look for the security settings and there we will enable the USB deb debugging option okay so go to the settings and in the search box simply type security and then you will see the relevant results and I hope I will find the op right option okay uh, look at the bottom we found this option which is USB debugging and security settings just tap on it which is inside the developers option because if you don't know the right place so you can uh, go with this way otherwise you can directly reach to the developer options and now you can just scroll up okay now at the you can see at the this is the fourth setting USB debugging security settings so this is asking me to uh, log in in the MI account okay if I am able to log in in the MI account this setting will be enabled properly okay once the setting is enabled you can interact the Android screen with the help of USB keyboard and mouse so this additional uh, security settings enable is required in some cases in some Android mobiles okay now the second case is I hope if you have a very latest mobile and the very latest Android version in that case you don't need to enable this kind of setting I will show you the demo I have a new Samsung mobile so I am going to connect it through my laptop and I will show you the okay I have just connected and again I'm going to launch the application through this way now you can see I am able to interact with the mouse pointer I have just clicked on the Chrome icon and the Chrome page is open now going back to the home this is working now I can scroll it easily jump to the, any place now trying to open the blog also the keyboard is also working so if you want to type mail you want to type on the chat box you want to type you want to put some comment Instagram Facebook anywhere so this is quite convenient with the help of USB keyboard and mouse to interact in these situations so this way we can install the Genie Mobile SCR CPY and we can uh, interact with the Android screen on our laptop or desktop by using keyboard and mouse as well I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and for now thanks for watching Cool IT help.